This March, the coronavirus infected the United States, sending most of the country into a lockdown, continuing through the summer and the fall. Everyone, kids and adults alike, face unprecedented situations. To slow the spread of the virus, there are limits on virtually every form of social gathering. People have been forced to bond extensively with their friends and family over different forms of virtual video calls. This has affected the social, emotional well-being and health of all people, as everyone yearns for the restrictions to be lifted. The pandemic doesn't look to be going away anytime soon. The pandemic has also affected the emotional well-being of many. Life is crazy. There's a ton of anxiety out there. News headlines in various arenas are head spinning for all of us. And there are punctuated points that feel very painful to us, while at the same time, there is this low level dull ache of not being with one another, of being isolated, of not knowing how long this whole thing is going to last. Kevin Adams has been working with high school students this fall as they deal with the pandemic. There are some people that are dealing with some pretty heavy duty issues, they just don't feel comfortable talking about it. Uh, so the goal is to be that support, to make people feel comfortable and really start to kind of have that direction you need to go for everything else to fall in place. Recognize when you need help, where you can find that help, and go out there and, and reach for it. People have employed many different hobbies and practices to reduce stress. For Jessie Anger, that has been teaching herself a new language. I'm trying to learn French, and sometimes just doing something as simple as learning another language with a friend can be nice because it's kind of nice to keep your brain working and moving and challenging it in different ways. Phil Lamb is able to do many of his hobbies from his home. We are in the 80s. In the 80s, we don't have that much routine thing, you know, doing. I, I do my own painting with crab to see. To do at home, it doesn't matter. I don't really need to, to go, go out. Jamanger believes in the power of music. A lot of music has been produced from places of deep pain, so understanding, absorbing, conversing with other people's pains from other periods is a way of normalizing and relativizing whatever I'm feeling at this time. Throughout the pandemic, one message has rung loud and clear, the importance of friendships. These bonds are what has helped so many get through these trying times. I think that friendships are really important for this quarantine because they can help you get through tough times. And maybe you're feeling low, and maybe you can see a friend on a porch, and it will be nice since you've been cramped up inside looking at a screen to see someone that you that you um, have known or that you like hanging out with in real life. Because hanging out with a friend, like laughing and talking really helps relieve stress. Um, because we have to be more intentional, some of the conversations that we have uh, are actually a little bit more in depth because the, that time seems more precious. Many times in-person meetups are not possible. Some, such as Flora Lamb, have used the telephone for interaction. And I call my sister every Thursday. Good thing that uh, they are all right. It's, it's just a concern because they are facing the same thing too. Others have gone an alternative route. Things like video calls, I think, approximate and get us part of the way there. So it's better than nothing. And better than phone calls because you get to see people's faces. Zoom fatigue is one side of the coin, but the other side of the coin is that you're zooming and you're able to have some semblance of the contact that we really need. Being that the world has thrown this ginormous snowball at us, you know, we're all in this together, this is the time where we all kind of need to be there for one another and just reach out to the people that you know are there for you. To have friendships is to be human and to be isolated. Not to have friendships is really to struggle with one's own humanity. So we need each other to normalize ourselves uh, to have a sense of solidarity in a tough time like 2020 has been for all of us, uh, to laugh, to cry, and to be together. There's no substitute for those sorts of connections that I think are all the more important in a time like this. This pandemic, while difficult, is only another great challenge humans face. Through the power of relationships and spirit, we will prevail and come out stronger. In the midst of struggle, small pockets of love and beauty reveal themselves, displaying the mighty willpower and perseverance of humans. This is not the end.